followed by Nick News. eventually come to an end. Some endings are bad. I can't believe you're breaking up with me. Say it isn't true. But most endings are good. Now that I've gotten rid of Todd, I can finally get together with Greg. <laughs> and some endings inspire mixed feelings. This is just a reminder. Fitting for smelly, used cats and gowns start today because in a week, you all be graduating from any town junior high school. <laughs> Missing all your friends. Oh, I'm gonna miss you so much. Promise me you won't forget me. Go right up and say. Ja, they live on the same street. Another bunch of staff to see. Every ending has a time to break down and sob. Like Girl Scouts at a burning cookie factory. Goodbye. Don't you feel better now? Yeah. Okay, well, good luck to you. Goodbye. <laughs> Mr. Goodbye, in regular and new king size. For people who cry until all they can do is suck up big, deep breath. I'm home, mom, dad, sibling who appears on occasion. <laughs> Nobody's home. <laughs> Welcome to And Our Entertainment Now Defunct, featuring all canceled shows all the time. Least favorites like NYPD Blew It, Resigning Women, Swap, and Mary Tyler No More. Clarissa Explains the Hall, Solved Mysteries, The XX Files, and Buried with Children. And now, stay tuned for our featured presentation. He's a half ton of twisted metal cyborg. He's an unstoppable killing machine. And he's been given the pink slip. Arnold Giesenhausen is determinated. Doesn't get stuck sooner than he thinks to an unemployment office near you. What? I won't be back? Hasta la vista, baby. <laughs> Tonight on Beverly Hills 90210. Old. Grandpa Dylan makes a move on ancient Brenda. You know, if I could see who you are, I'd come over there and kick you, dearie. Oh, stole my socks. They're sexy, but they're senile, and they're still supposed to be freshmen in college on... All Beverly right, all right, come on. I gotta get this crop out of here by midnight. Jeez. Hey, wait a minute. Canceled shows, graduation, terminated. Either this is a really convoluted show about endings, or we're... Canceled? Hello? Sorry, what, you didn't get the memo? Mom! Why aren't you starting something? Oh, get real. The name is not Mom, it's Sean, all right? And I can only cook imaginary food. No, I'm Zach, and you're my mom. And we're going to talk about a problem, and then someone's going to come in and sell us a product, and everything will be okay. Yeah, right. Monkeys are going to fly out my butt. <laughs> Look, they named you Zach this week, all right? They're down to the Z's. Dad! What, you mean John Crane? He's over there on the phone talking to his agent. He's just phoning in his performance this week. 
Listen, Bernie, I'm telling you, I'm not locked into that. I can say, uh, pull my toe, uh, pull my nose, I can stretch. Hello, Dad? Oh, uh, yeah, listen, uh, no buts, boy. Uh, you're blocking the TV. Uh, uh pull my finger, uh, yada, 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 you know the rest. Hey, don't hang up on me, I'm your son. Big Wolf. Hmm? Everybody on the show's been my son. <laughs> Except for Alfred. <laughs> Do Cosby, Al. Do Eddie Murphy, Al. Do James Brown, Al. Whoopi Goldberg. Hey! And ain't nobody never asked a brother to say, reprise the theme song and roll the credits. Hey, where's everybody else? Oh, they already got spinoffs. <laughs> Live from the Lao Lao Lounge in Honolulu, Hawaii's beautiful bag on ballast, it's the Dr. Lorita Kern Variety Hour. Tonight, Lorita welcomes her special guest, Don Ho. Tiny bubbles. <laughs> people small enough to fit in those animal costumes. Or tune in to the Hummus Shopping Club with your host, Parvis. I like Parvis! Would you like a Slurpee with your cubic zirconia? Hey, 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 come on guys, don't give up on me yet. We still got 18 minutes of airtime left to try and save the show. I know if we think of something, we can come up with something good. Come on, think on it. How about a catchphrase? You know, something that people could put into everyday conversation. Thanks! Uh, something like, uh, uh, Machine wash warm, tumble dry. Yeah. Uh, hey, man. Machine wash warm, tumble dry. Machine wash warm, tumble dry. This is just a reminder. Machine wash warm, tumble dry. Machine squash worm, tumble dry. Oh. Yo, dude. Give it up, Dutch. You're fighting a losing battle. Oh, come on, man. There's got to be a way to boost our ratings. There's one true way to improve our show. Bigger budget? Change the format? No. More violence. Watch this. In order to get their diplomas, our contestants, Beanie Town Junior High Class of 19 in a year, must pass through an obstacle course guarded by Zap, Turbo, Sour, Sleepy, Happy, and Doc. On your mark, get set. Here's young Abby Anderson, a test of water in a two-year wilderness state science fair. Ooh, looks like Turbo knocked a pom-pom out of our fucking cheerleader. Well, come on down and get your diploma, Ashley. Congratulations. Oh, and don't worry about that arm. You're good in science, so I'm sure you can figure out a way to reattach it. Oh, let's go down to the soap board and see if our ratings have improved. Yeah, Mickey can take your clothes off. No way. Why don't you take your clothes off? Machine wash worn, tumble dry. Hey, hey, Sean, Sean, come on. Now's our chance. We got nothing to lose.
it's been on for hours. Yeah, you've got to get her attention. Dude, how can I? I can't even see her head over the steering wheel. <laughs> no action, no suspense. You'll be at the edge of your bucket seat in speed. Well, coming soon to us. Hey, could you guys hurry up and finish the show? Seinfeld needs to use your stage for storage. <laughs> what we should do. Do you want to see Roundhouse go on? Yeah! Or do you want to shut stick in the eye? Call 555 fake number and let us know. Oh, there's a caller. Hello, is the caller there? Uh, yes. Exactly how big of a stick are we talking about here? Is it really sharp or more round like a pop? Next caller! Uh, hello. Yes, well, I think Roundhouse is a lovely show. Oh. Especially that blonde boy who should eat his veggies and, and wear a sweater because the studio is cold. Mom! I told you not to call me here. Next caller. Are you still here? I thought I told you to pack it up 10 minutes ago. Hey, there's the school bell. That must mean we're going back to the regular show. Nope, nope, sorry. That's just somebody who's testing out the sound effects equipment who wants to buy the bell. Hi, George. Hey, did you guys use this much? <laughs> I don't care. I'm going to class anyway. This is just a reminder. Oh, man, they even sold Principal Bose's speaker head. Well, I think this is a handsome bucket. Handsome bucket. Handsome. All students must register for classes, take final exams, and clean out their lockers. Oh, not that. Isn't there something that can help me clean out my locker? Uh-uh. Isn't there something that can help me... Oh, come on, man, just be the announcer. All right, there is a way to clean your stank bag locker with no muss, no fuss, and no hands-on scrubbing. Greasy off. The spray-on locker cleaner. Oh, just go with it. They wouldn't swing for any new props. Uh -huh. All right. Well, will they clean out my tennis shoes or an old math book I squashed a bug in or an athletic supporter that has moss growing in the cup all in one swipe? What? Oh, yeah, uh -huh. yeah just why? Well, how about this strip pan from the last time I cooked the roast beef in it? <laughs> Woo! But now a few minutes with Andy Looney. Notice how fog mysteriously appears on this show whenever anyone sings or dances. Where does this fog come from? Does the dancing create a low-pressure weather disturbance? I wish I could have fog when I dance. See? No fog. And how about this fellow who plays the dad? He's a regular fella like you and me. But then just because he puts on a pair of glasses, he becomes dad. Pull my finger. <laughs> See what I mean? Do you ever notice how when a sketch isn't going too well, there's always a fart noise? <laughs> Why do they always say it ain't over till the fat lady sings? Just who is this fat lady anyway? And why does she make a practice of singing at things that are over? I've never seen her myself. Hi, I'm a fat lady. <laughs> See, now you look like a perfectly normal sized person to me. What do you expect from a capital show? They couldn't afford a fat lady. Hey, who are you? I'm a fat lady, kid. Well, you're trying to, you know... Yeah, thing I know. Just use your imagination. Well, it can't be over yet. Besides, I'm not going to let you sing. Nobody move and a fat lady gets it. Excuse me, I couldn't help but notice she's not particularly overweight in any sense. It's a gland problem. Now back off. I'm going to mess up her hair and her makeup with this water gun. <laughs> Let's get her to for it now that this supposed fat lady's been taken hostage. <laughs> will return in a moment. You're watching Nickelodeon, and now back to Roundhouse. Please buy our tapes and possibly a 
my body forever. Small and white, clean and bright, you look happy to me. Pushing his chair all the way to another network. You must go away. It's time to play. The jig is up. Here's your host, fill your bag. Play the old battle white with, and welcome to the jig is up, the game show where you don't have a prayer of winning. <laughs> However, it does give us some time to kill some time. Don, tell us about our first contestant. Our first contestant and our only contestant is, uh, well, that guy. He always plays someone named Any Kid. Please welcome. I forget what we're calling him this week. Select the category. Uh, I'll take sketches that wouldn't fit onto any other show for 200, Phil. And the answer is, this sketch about an expendable car has outdated Michael Jackson references. What is a Honda Accordion? Good answer, and a good segue. <laughs> Hello, I'm Liz Taylor. When your weight and marital status are in constant flux, it's important to have a car to meet your ever-changing needs with its flexibility. That's why I drive the Honda Accordion. It starts out as a sporty two-seater for when you're cruising for a new husband. And when the kids are in town, it expands into a four-door sedan. And when his kids are in town, it's a minivan. And when dear Michael Jackson and his menagerie of animals and lawyers need a lift, it's load you'll be carrying, of course, unless it's yours. All right, we're back, and I'm afraid we're out of time. Don, get rid of this loser. Well, whatever your name is, you'll be taken from here by Lincoln Town Guards directly to the unemployment office. Bye-bye. Thank you for playing. The jig is up. No way. Come on, fat lady. We spotted the moving chair moving northbound through stage four, being followed by security. Surprisingly, very few people have stopped their cars to wave at this disturbed young man at his empty hostage. Go, Ivan, go! Please take your seats to the commencement address, which will be read by Sally Jesse Raphael. Oh, correction. Our guest speaker today will be the Honorable Reverend Jesse Jackson himself, due to the fact that Sally and Raphael are cleaning out their dressing room. I'm here all alone, because the rest of the folks are gone. Graduating from junior high is quite an accomplishment. You should all be quite proud. You're not a fool. You're going to high school. <laughs> hear words of wisdom gleaned from my years in the halls of academia. Please keep them close to your heart as they will lead you to your destiny. Please stand and proceed to the podium as your name is called. Kid number one. <laughs> your dearest wish will come true. Hey, this is just a fortune cookie. I was gleaning about your destiny over takeout. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to be 50 years old playing a kid? <laughs> it's a TV show. No, it's my family. They're not really your family. You're wrong. We've done a lot of shows together. You know, people have come and gone, but the family stayed together. People have gotten sick, and we all pulled together until they got better. And when they didn't get better, we still pulled together, and we were still a family. It wasn't easy, but life went on. And it will. Just open the cookie. <laughs> Every ending is a new beginning. 
GPS, let the fat lady go. Well, okay. You can sing now if you're ready. This one's for our friend Dominic, who couldn't be here. It says, you will be loved by all. You're a big part of the family too, you know. Maybe the most important part. Thanks for watching. I bet I know what this one is. Let's all say it together.